Hello, I'm back with more of my Volo army. So I decided that I would uh, continue. So I, I'm back just doing whatever I, the heck I want. I think I'm going to go to the beach or something next. Let's see. Uh, we'll hopefully have an entertaining fight where the Volos can persevere. Uh, as one might say. All right, we got ourselves into a conversation with these deep, with the uh, Duger over on the beach, and so we shall attack. And I uh, snuck up back on the round. I'm gonna scoot my character about a bit here. Take the actual Volo with me, and let's see where this fight. Gets us. Okay, whose turn is it? Ranger's gonna try to make a couple ensnaring strikes. And then cast Shatter. Lovely. Then I believe this is Monk. It's gonna do some attack towards Get Cole over here. Okay. Druid's Volo's gonna web up Gek here. While they're gonna get themselves all slipped up in some grease. Gonna cast a few spells here. Lovely. So many of them are getting themselves tripped up in grease. Just, like, all of them, apparently. All except for, I think that was Sorcerer F Volo. And there's still a couple of, uh... Dugers that haven't even gotten into the fight yet. Now they're gonna waste their time picking up each other from the grease. Just wonderful. Ah, there's a bit of a counter spell action there. But they're gonna cast uh, the magic missile anyway. Because uh, a bunch of them have extra actions and bonus actions because of the AI control archetype then. As the AI control does typically make them uh, act suboptimally at times. Which means that they do uh, kind of need the extra boost to really be any good during fights as they all too often will decide to just do nothing. I am still wondering, who is this Gooks? And where are they to be hitting a training dummy? I may think about going and getting my engine here. That's what I can do here is... In order to speed up the recording because I, I don't want to leave out anything and I also don't want to spend hours editing videos I gave up halfway in the last video if you saw that on YouTube which is not likely then um yeah the I noticed that they were taking a long time. So, let's uh, speed up everything. Alright. We got... 
Oh, Sorcerer Volo just turned everybody into cats. And dogs. Lovely. That is quite hilarious. Oh, come on. So we got a lot of cats and dogs suddenly. And they're unfortunately not very capable. I was wondering what those, like, like they thought they were like extra thick hips, but they're actually bags. I did not know that that guy was a barbarian. Let's slow down the game slightly. Just so that I can actually still see what's going on. Of course, they're picking up everybody out of the grease that everybody keeps on tripping to themselves in. Fortunately, the zombies were not able to be summoned because they dealt with that guy quick enough. And Necromancy Volo is... ...in that then. That's Bard Volo. And they're all kind of just consolidating on the last one here. So this fight should be done... ...pretty quickly. I can speed it up a little bit more. There we go. Come on. Just a matter of time. Come on, just a well-placed shot. Third stab. There we go. There we are. Now they're all... Dealt with. Okay. Now let's get everybody and head off to the next fight. And I shall see you there. So I actually had a bit of a question uh, that I wanted to kind of ask. As uh, these guys, he eventually wants you to cut off so Nier's head. Uh, but I have Nier's entire body with me, so... I wonder what he'll do with that. As the creature turns its gaze. Ask of Here. Here. There's his. Mind. This one is called. He hunted us. Hunt him in turn. The okay. Then what if I come over here and I talk to him? Peace bringer. Come on, you're gonna make me... Here. Come on. Talk. That's up for discussion. Peace, Bruna. Oh, come on. I have near right here. Strange power rests on your limbs. Why let its host's memories go to waste? Gosh darn it. No, that's not what I was trying to do. Now, I think it'd be hilarious to, uh, do this. Okay, and then I can do this. And now we've got ourselves a headless near with us. And here is your head. The drop in dealing as our sir. There we go. 
Okay, I guess he doesn't want the... I guess Avern Spa doesn't want the entire body, but... That means that I do get to keep a headless near. And now I shall head off to the next fight. And let us proceed. Alright, here's what we're going to do. I've decided that I want to do fight the Myconoids. So, let's start this with a good old thunderous smite, shall we? Creature mourns. You have brought pain. And let's do this. Okay. Well, they are almost everywhere. I have quite a few Volos. Let's speed up the game, though, because I do want to get through this fight faster. Warlock Polo, wasted in action, dashing. Doing whatever that was. Hmm. I did not know that one of the Polos has a crossbow. Turns out that there is quite a lot of enemies in this area, though. majority of them are actually going to participate in this fight. Now the Sovereign's gonna continue to resurrect Thins. Hopefully the Volos can kill Thins faster than the Sovereign can resurrect stuff. Also, it's interesting to see that there's, like, a green hue that was suddenly placed over everything. And, interestingly enough, Blard does not seem to be interested in actually participating in the fight. The more you learn. Okay. Yeah, the Mykonoid colony is... Oh, no, Blark is in the fight. Okay. I was wondering about him. Now, I'm thinking that the wizard... Volo is probably going to be a big time player eventually once they can get off a few uh, key fireballs or something. Okay, I see. Bard Volo has a hand crossbow. Looks like Barbarian Volos got a cover down there. However, which Volo is that? Okay, this is... Cleric Volo. That's not good. There's the fireball that I was waiting for. Yeah, Cleric Volo kind of got swarmed at the front there. That's a bit unfortunate. Okay. 
Now, of course, the Volo is not actually normally this uh, aggressive. Uh, but, I mean, I'm just screwing around at this point. The real Volo's actually just sitting invisible somewhere. Uh, let's see. Yeah, real Volo is just sitting here, invisible. No, oh, and how important a well-timed invisibility potion can be, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I think we just lost a Volo. Yeah, it looks like Cleric Volo is dead. Yeah, Cleric Volo is dead dead, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Got the problem. I've been experiencing a bug with my one of the UI mods that makes it so that whatever I have my UI doesn't appear unless I hover over it. Because part of the issue that I when I speed up the game, it breaks certain things. Here's I stashed myself in Blarg's favorite spot. At least Sovereign is dead, I think. I think we'll win this fight, but it'll come at a significant cost for the Volos. As they've already had one death so far. And oh, Blarg's still alive, so he's gonna have his few spells that might become inconvenient. Okay. I think uh, Ranger and Rogue Volos just eliminated a couple of enemies. Or at least dealt a bit of significant amount of damage. I think Monk Volo just wasted an entire action and two bonus actions, which is unfortunate. Which is kind of why the uh, AI control is suboptimal, is they just do not necessarily optimize their turns at all. So even when they're given all those advantages, they don't always use them. Oh, it appears one of them that had a resurrection scroll. I did not know that any of them had a resurrection scroll. Let's see. Uh... Hmm. Ah, great. Volo broke his oath. That's unfortunate. Rips your chest. Yes. You at the club we have met. Well, isn't that just great? Volo has broken his oath. Well, that's too bad. Now, fortunately, they uh, managed to raise Cleric Volo from the dead, so. Hooray! We didn't actually have any uh, casualties. 
in the long run. As they sorted it out themselves. Which is not the usual. Usually, I they don't just resurrect themselves. Oh, I forgot that there was that right here. Okay, well, I, I think this is a good spot to end the video, actually. We did a couple of quick fights. It's not much, but hey. It's uh, 20 minutes so far, and I've been live for an hour, I guess. So I think this was a great uh, little bit. Uh, a couple of fights of Volos doing stuff. And next time we can see how uh, Aladdin Volo will handle the fact that he has lost his oath. And I've been thinking of doing, like, a more legitimate run, except for that I don't level up or something, and then I recruit NPCs against their will uh, to then fight them, other NPCs, with some, like, rules on, like, who I can resurrect and or if I can resurrect at all, and then, like, no long rests or something. We'll see. Uh, and I hope you have enjoyed this video, I guess. Um, I had fun making it real quick here. Uh, I hope I can get it to be better in the future and be more interesting. Uh, now I gotta go figure out how to get a good screenshot for the thumbnail. Bye.